Question number 57643, the people versus Philip Christie, Thomas Robbins, et al. Murder in the first degree, attempted murder in the first degree, conspiracy in the first degree, attempted grand larceny in the first degree. Ms. Mandel, how do they plead? In your honor, as a ranking officer, my co-defendants have chosen me to act as our own counsel. Now listen to this shit. I've worked as a bailiff. I know about your rules and procedures. You file the motion, the court will consider it. Now enter a plea. In your honor, for all defendants on all charges, not guilty. Your Honor, the people request remand. Your Honor, we move that all charges be dismissed on the grounds that we are prisoners of war under the terms of the Geneva Convention. What? Mr. Christie, this is a civilian criminal court. I have no authority to rule on your motion. You do, Your Honor. That flag has fringes on it, which means it is a military flag, mm. which means this court is a military tribunal. Mm. You must recognize us as prisoners of war mm -hmm. exempt from trial. Our Mr. Motion... Christie, I don't care how many fringes, bells, and whistles are on this flag. This is a civilian criminal court. Got it? Bail is set at $1 million for each defendant. Next case. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. Tom Paine wrote that in a pamphlet that helped rally Americans to the cause of liberty in those dark days of December 1776. We again face dark days. Our founding forefathers fashioned a government based on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Today, instead of life, we have a job. We have sometimes two jobs. Instead of liberty, we have crushing debt. And happiness? See, we work hard, husbands and wives, 10, 12 hours a day. We work weekends, and at the end of the week, we have less. We have less real income, less benefits, less time with our kids. Are you better off than your parents? Will your children be better off than you? We believe that our government has been sold to global corporations that are sucking the blood and the life out of this country. I mean, it's all right there in the newspapers what they're doing. Uh, NAFTA, illegal campaign contributions by foreign businessmen, the sale of foreign policy. I mean, these people don't care about us. They don't care about Americans. They, they, they care about their bottom line. We are not common criminals. We are, we are ordinary people, like you, with jobs and mortgages, who are willing to lay it all on the line because we are afraid of losing our freedom. You're not an American. And today, You're European. You have a chance to tell the government what you think. Seize that opportunity. We, the defendants, are not the only ones on trial here. You... Okay. Listen to this. This country began as an experiment in freedom. Experiment. The foundation of that freedom is equality. Based in Muslim law. Before the law. Everyone, whoever they are, whatever they may believe, must be equally accountable. Mr. Christie hopes you will ignore the evidence and nullify a power he says derives from a higher law. I agree that such a higher law exists. And Nature's each law. Of you, as members of the jury, bound yourselves to it when you swore on your conscience before God and as a citizen that you would decide this case on the facts. Nature's you law. You asked to judge one thing. Natural law. Were the defendants, whatever their reasons, whatever their beliefs, 